mentioning the name of God here as our founding fathers were not when they were founding this great country. And uh, I was thankful tonight that there is a God because I wouldn't have been here if there weren't. I uh, live on a hill just downhill from a, a line curve and um, it's one of the, like, we come out of an alley and you watch that curve and you hit the gas and 99 times out of 100 you're fine. And tonight, as I went into that first lane, a car was racing around that curve. There's a warning sign, but you know, they don't pay any attention to it. And that car hit its brakes and skidded. And all I could think of was, I'm driving my 17 year old new sports car. <laughs> but thank the Lord, the car stopped about three feet from my door. So there is a God and our founding fathers knew how important it was to acknowledge him because if you, there's no higher authority then the authorities in the state feel that they have no limits on their power and isn't that the problem today so we always start with prayer and i asked luke Byer if he would please uh, lead us in prayer we'll stand and then uh, charlie could you come up and lead us in the pledge after the prayer so Luke. Okay. Dear Father, we come before you. Thank you, praise for this day. We thank you for many blessed Jews. We thank you for living, letting us live a life in the earth. And pray you continue with our government officials that they'll be able to know what to do and make the right decisions. We pray that you help us all to learn more about what our government is doing. We thank you for giving us a change in safety and light that you didn't get an accident, bringing her safe. We pray you continue to help us all and be true to you. And everything we do is say, I just pray. Amen. Charlie, you want to come up and meet us? Okay, folks, let's pledge allegiance to the flag. Where is it? Oh, they moved it. Over on this side. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. A quote that I found uh, from not a founding father, but a wife of a founding father, who was very, I think, uh, instrumental in her in her husband's great impact in our country abigail adams said a patriot without religion in my estimation is as great a paradox as an honest man without the fear of god so um we have to run through some important announcements um welcome again how many of you folks are here for the first time wonderful Terrific. I hope when you came in, uh, you were able to sign in, get your name on our emailing list. We um, try to stay in contact between our meetings with our members, keep you updated on important legislation, not flood you with emails because we all are overwhelmed, um, but, but give you some pertinent things so you can stay active. We are an educational organization of patriots, but our, our particular goal is to give you the information so that you can take action. So I hope you can go away from here with a plan of several things that you're going to do this week, next week, and the coming weeks. Um, so matter of business for our members. If you are a member of our organization, uh, meaning simply that you've come um, at least to two of our meetings, and if you have signed our mission statement that makes you a voting member, we are an organization that has regular annual elections. Um, we believe in a representative system, so we decided to duplicate that in our group here. And uh, we have nominations in March, we have elections in April. So if you are uh, a voting member, somebody who has signed our mission statement, or has come to two of our meetings and would like to sign the mission statement to be able to vote in these elections next month, if you would raise your hand we have a nomination ballot or form, I guess you call it, um, and we would like to take nominations for our offices. We have six officers. I am the president, Jamie Fawcett. We have a vice president of education, Carlo Berletto. Carlo has just started a terrific group, Concerned Gun Owners of Bucks County. So he is very, very busy with that. And